Hi everyone! Happy 2020 everybody! It's so nice to see everybody again. Latanya Brown Sugar here. I am here to dish about the death of Nick Gordon. This is such a sad, sad, sad situation for his close family and friends. First, I want to say, I want to send my deepest condolences to his family and his friends. But furthermore, I would like to talk about the death of Bobby Christina and Whitney Houston as well. Um, Allegedly, Nick Gordon was the supplier of the drugs for Bobby Christina and uh, Whitney Houston. Again, I do not know if these allegations are true or not, but I'm really deep and deeply saddened about and heartbroken about the deaths of all three of them and you know, it was allegedly that also Bobby Christina and Whitney Houston died of drug overdoses as well. Apparently on um, Wednesday, June 1st, 2020 of this year, Nick Gordon was dumped at a hospital, at a local hospital, uh, I guess close to his home or close to a place where he was hanging out at. And and uh, he uh, apparently dried, uh, died of a drug overdose, a heroin drug overdose. Now, I just want to talk about a little bit about karma because karma is very real. We as individuals must be really careful how the, regarding the decisions we make in our life. I haven't made the best decisions in my life either. And karma is very real. I know I've hurt some people in my life. People have hurt me as well. One of my New Year's resolutions for 2020 is to be continue to be true to myself and to be forgiving of people who have hurt me. And I hope those that I have hurt will forgive me as well. Back to the Nick Gordon, Whitney Houston, and Bobby Christina situation. The drugs were a demon for all three souls. And neither one of those three souls could fight the demon of the drugs. They all became tolerant and they all became dependent of the drugs. Therefore, the drugs were able to end their lives more sooner than later. I just want to say that for anyone who's addicted to drugs or alcohol, it's never too late to receive any type of justice for your addictions. It's never too late to receive any type of help if you or anyone in your family are suffering for any type of drug addiction or alcohol addictions or nicotine addiction which would be the cigarettes or marijuana addictions please seek help from your primary care physician and the primary care physician will be able to prove provide a pre-authorization for you to attend a behavioral health support group or a psychiatrist, someone who's able to help and also Google and YouTube, very helpful. All you have to do is type in how to locate a substance abuse counselor. In, in the search box and all types of locations and options will be provided to you uh, regarding help with addiction and substance use abuse we all have family and friends that love us very dearly 
Therefore, we must value our lives just as those around us value our lives. So everyone, the question of the day is, is you or someone, is you or is there someone in your family suffering from substance abuse or alcohol abuse? If so, tell me how you feel about it. Let's talk about it. Let's, let's have a conversation about it. I am a nurse practitioner. I specialize in adult medicine, internal medicine. I've been a nurse practitioner for three years. I was a registered nurse in the critical care unit for almost 17 years, um, pretty close to 20 years before I became a nurse practitioner. And working in the critical care unit, I can pretty much say that I have seen countless, countless of young people especially 18 to 45 range die from alcohol substance and substance abuse over the years we must put an end to this epidemic we must help our family members and our friends and ourselves to overcome this great demonic spirit of alcohol use and drug abuse in our communities so everyone please like subscribe to my channel and please let's have a conversation about it if you're depressed anxious you're suffering from drug use alcohol abuse let's just have a conversation about it you can be anon anonymous and we can have a conversation in the comment section about it. I will answer you back. But please, if you are suffering from substance use or alcohol use, please notify your primary care provider so that he can provide you with a pre-authorization to see a psychiatrist or to attend a support behavioral health group. Change has to start with us and in our communities. Thank you so much for listening. And again, my prayers, my condolences goes out to Nick Gordon and his family. And also for Bobby Christina and Whitney Houston's family as well. Because we are still mourning and grieving their losses as well. Thank you. Bye from now.